Welcome back. Well, chances are you've heard of feng shui to balance the space around you, but you may not know that it can also be applied to pregnancy and raising your kids. Here to explain is the feng shui mommy herself, <laughs> Bailey Gaddis. Bailey, it's a pleasure to have you back again. Yeah, it's exciting to be here, Alex. It is. It's such an interesting topic because a lot of people wouldn't think that feng shui would apply to something like this. But <laughs> tell us what feng shui actually is and how it applies to parenting. Yeah, so to put it really simply, feng shui is the ancient Chinese philosophy of harmonizing humans with our surrounding environment, which is important, right? But when I was working on the proposal for the book, I thought, okay, but what about our inner environment? You know, how do we harmonize our mind, our body, and our spirit? So that's how I crafted the book with, with that in mind. Well, and you, one could see how that would set up a child to live a successful life. If they, you know, grow up in peace, if they're born into peace, it'll definitely carry through in their life, I would say. And in your book, it's interesting you talk about four trimesters and we all know we've heard three trimesters <laughs> yeah. but what does that mean to have four yeah so the fourth trimester is the first three months after baby is is out of the womb and it's actually the usually the most challenging part because the mother no longer has the baby within her you know when she's pregnant she can just eat well and and stay calm and the baby's taken care of but now she still has to take care of herself and she has this new baby so it can be really overwhelming and I thought it was essential to to address that fourth trimester. Good point. It's a big period of adjustment for both the baby itself, obviously being born into the world, and the mother with this new beautiful thing to take care of. Exactly. And so, you know, well, that's further along down the line. Now, if a mother finds out that she's pregnant, what's the best piece of advice you have for her to sort of start diving into it? To, to first tune in to her intuition, because it's really easy to get steamrolled by mm. everybody else's opinions when you find out you're pregnant. So so really listen to that that inner voice, and it'll usually give you the, the right answers for yourself, for your unique situation. Okay, good point. Check in with yourself. Make sure that you know what's going on. Now, you talk about a best way to birth. <laughs> what's your opinion of what that is? Whatever way the woman feels is best for her and her baby. So I have attended unmedicated births, medicated births, cesarean births, and as long as the woman is the one making the choices, and you know she needs to be informed, but then again, tuning into that intuition and making choices from, from that space can then create her unique best birth. Right, and there's different ways to do that. You talk about a birth doula. Can you describe what that is? Yeah, yes, yeah. so I'm a doula, and what we do is we provide emotional and physiological support during birth. So I'm there for the entire birth. I just attended a 48-hour birth oh, a few weeks goodness. ago, and I am massaging her back. I am setting up the environment, everything but the, the medical side mm -hmm. of it. Good point. And now once the baby does arrive and you know, no matter which way you choose to do it, if you have a, a doula with you, if you decide to use medicine or not, what other advice do you have for women once the baby does get there? Yes. So number one, cut yourself some slack yeah. <laughs> because while that those maternal instincts will wake up, you're still going to make some decisions that you might look back upon and think, oh man, like I really wish I did it that way. That's normal. We all make mistakes and also asking for support. Mm -hmm. We can't do it on our own and, and still <laughs> be sane. Yeah. So so ask, ask for help, definitely. Okay, good point. And the ideal situation in, in any birth is that the father's going to be there too to support you. So what can dads do also to sort of help support the mother? Yeah, well, number one, ask, ask the mom. Say specifically, what can I do to support you? And then when she tells you, I need you to do the laundry or can you change this diaper, try to be as accommodating as possible because she's healing. You know, she, she is having a lot of hormones rush through her and her body, regardless of what type of birth she has is going to need a few weeks to heal. Well, men, I don't think we'll ever know the pain and, and you know, <laughs> all of the things that go through in the mom's head when that yeah. happens. Yeah. Now, your book, is it available now? Yes, it is available on Amazon, all major bookstores, and on my website. Fantastic. And, and besides all that, what else are people really going to get from this book when they buy it? Oh, they'll just learn how to have a more balanced, peaceful, harmonized life. I have women that aren't even pregnant that read it and say they gain so many tools to have a more um, harmonized life. So Beautiful. So it's all about harmony. It's the feng shui mommy. It's a perfect yes. name for it. And people <laughs> really true. need to pick it up because it, it, you know, it's a different way of thinking of pregnancy. Exactly. It's, it's really a focus uh, on different ways of approaching it. So Bailey, as always, I want to thank you so much for bringing all your knowledge, your expertise, and, and your sweet aura oh. to the topic of pregnancy into the show. Thanks so much, Alex. Thank it's you, my Bailey. Pleasure. Of course. Now, for more tips or to learn more about Feng Shui Mommy, please visit baileygaddis.com.